Dak uh, actually executed some pitches and still got beat. At the end of the day, uh, their lineup was uh, better than his pitches tonight. Um, some well-executed pitches at the bottom of the zone. Um, they beat the shift several times, and then uh, Romine got him to right center. Uh, but overall, threw strikes, got beat. It looked like there were times where it looked like he was getting more consistent, getting guys out, and then he getting it, it, it didn't look like he was going to find it. Yeah, he got the th three there in order, and then we sent them back out, and then had to go get them. But uh, Woody came in and did a really nice job. Used his sinker in on the righties, beat some guys up top with his fastball. Slider was a good pitch for him. Continues to show that he uh, he belongs here. Given the way you just described what that lineup did against Hudson, what does that say then about what Woodford did against that same group? Uh, yeah, I think I just said it. Woody came in there and did a really nice job. And <coughs> continues to show that he belongs here. What do you make of Goldie? Obviously, he's having a great year. It's more noticeable because he's been so consistent. <laughs> Uh, that he's human. Yeah, Goldie will be fine. What did you notice out of Justin Dunn on the red side? I mean, there's a short outing, but that's yeah. the one home run pretty command. Uh, made pitches. Um, at the end of the day, that's what it came down to. He just made pitches, continued to get our guys uh, off balance, and um, did a nice job. Hopefully he's okay. We were talking earlier today about guys going back to back. Can you maybe describe what Woodford did in those terms, like just to come back and pitch again today after appearing last night. That yeah, we, we debated going position player last night once we uh, got the nine-run lead strictly uh, in case this happened with Dak, uh, that we'd have some length in Woody. But in talking to him, he felt like if it was a short outing, he'd come, come back and give us three to four innings. And he threw 10 pitches yesterday, low stress, pretty quick and efficient. So uh, he almost treated that like a quick touch and feel. Yeah, so... So, so that happens in the bullpen last night. You go to him and say, "Hey, you go tonight. We would we give us tomorrow too." Is that kind of and, uh, no? We game? yeah, before the game, we know okay. if how we use them the previous night, kind of what we can get out of certain guys, and we know if Woody is efficient, he can give us forty five fifty the next day. Yeah. Do you think you've seen continued improvement in far as far as Jay Woodford's second? Absolutely. Or yeah, no doubt about it. That's what allowed him to get some swing and miss today. Um, Two versions of it, the slider and the fastball at the top, which he hasn't executed prior to tonight. His ability to beat guys up top, use the sinker in, and then uh, expand with the slider down and away on righties. Um, that's going to give him success. He ran through that lineup uh, pretty quick. That's never really lost the tempo. The, the, I mean, the no, that's the thing. That's, that's the whole point. We can sit here and uh, talk about it all night as far as uh, it's not throwing strikes or his pace is slow, whatever the case may be, but pace was good through strikes, one to one one count, above eighty percent in one one counts and uh, executed pitches and still got beat. So